News Talk 750 WSB, Atlanta's news, weather, traffic, and brave station. Depend on it. Good morning at 7 o'clock as Atlanta's morning news continues for Thursday, September 16th. Scott Slade here with the news, weather, and traffic team. And if you're just joining us... A jam has convened out of the northern suburbs, and a lot of folks are trying to go home. We'll update the traffic situation after we bring you WSB's top story. Heavy rain and wind along the North Carolina coast at this hour as Hurricane Floyd comes ashore. Our live team coverage continues with WSB meteorologist Kirk Mellish. Hurricane Floyd made landfall around Cape Fear, North Carolina about 3 a.m. Now the center of Hurricane Floyd is located about 25 miles southwest of New Bern, North Carolina. Maximum sustained winds near 105 miles an hour with higher gusts. Some additional weakening is likely today as Floyd moves inland across eastern North Carolina. Floyd is moving towards the north-northeast at about 23 miles an hour, and a gradual turn more to the northeast with an increase in forward speed is expected later today. Three to six inches of rain, storm surge up to 11 feet, and isolated tornadoes are expected. Floyd will cross the Outer Banks and head up along the New England coast into southeast Canada by the weekend. Live in the Weather Center, I'm WSB meteorologist Kirk Mellish. The big question for coastal Georgians right now is how soon they can go back home. I'm Bob Cox. And I'm Marcy Williams. Eight die in a church shooting in Fort Worth. Braves have a bad road trip. They come home with a one-game lead. This is Steve Holden, all the sports in 10 minutes. Temperature at 701, 65 degrees. Looks like a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend. I'm WSB meteorologist Kirk Mellon. And I'm Chris Monroe with the WSB Skycopter. Right over Hartsfield Airport. Looking at 75 northbound, which is crowded and slow around the Pennies Outlet. Morris Parkway heading up to 285. Nothing unusual about that. And let me tell you, we saw extra traffic on I-75 southbound. Heading down below I-675. Likely, a lot of folks trying to head back down to the coast and into Florida. Another look at traffic in less than six minutes here on News Talk 750 WSB. WSB time is 7.02. It's two past seven and this portion of Atlanta's morning news is sponsored by Allstate Insurance. With Hurricane Floyd battering the Carolinas this hour with 100 plus mile an hour winds, expect the possibility of more traffic jams here in Georgia along Interstate 16. Residents of coastal Georgia will finally be allowed to return home not too far from now. Our team coverage continues with WSB's Matt Reese. Sounds good to tell people to wait until until later in the day to head home, but... I could recommend that from now till Sunday. <laughs> and very honestly, these folks have been in shelters for the last 48 hours, and they're going to be ready to go. GEMA Director Gary McConnell, I-16 will not be one way back to Savannah. It's going to take longer probably to get back from Atlanta or from Macon to Savannah than normal. Vicki Gavalis with the DOT says there will be a gradual reopening of I-16 from Savannah working back to US-1. From GEMA headquarters, Matt Reese, News Talk 750 WSB. What will residents find when they return? Let's go live to Savannah this morning in WSB's Richard Sankster. Well, I'll tell you what, Marcy, you're going to find a nice day here in Savannah, a nice breezy morning, and uh, it's been quite pleasant here. There are 500,000 evacuees, 18,000 in shelters across our state, and these folks will begin their head home. Many will return to damaged property, though, and no electricity. Nearly 40,000 are in the dark this morning here in Savannah. This could go higher, could low, go lower during the night. Um, we have trees that are saturated with rain. We're losing limbs. So this is just very typical after this kind of storm. Now, that's spokeswoman for Savannah Electric. Uh, soon, damage assessment teams will begin to fan out across Chatham County, along with the power crews. We're already beginning to see city crews uh, beginning their cleanup here in Savannah's historic district. Reporting live from Savannah, Richard Sankster, News Talk 750, WSB. WSB News Time, now 704. States of emergency are already in effect this morning in Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. Many schools are closed. House Majority Leader Dick Armey sent representatives home early. And I wish all my colleagues safe travel home, and of course our prayers will be with all of those affected by this hurricane. Amtrak has suspended all passenger train service south of Washington, D.C. New York's already opened shelters and ordered extra buses to be ready to roll in case the subway floods. The governors put the National Guard on standby. In the Bahamas, at least one known death is attributed to the hurricane. Club Med is trying to charter planes to evacuate stranded vacationers from its resort on the island of San Salvador. The hurricane stirred up trouble on the set of Dawson's Creek. Filming's been shut down in Wilmington and the cast and crew have left town. They'll resume filming next week. Delta's resumed service to cities now out of harm's way. Those destinations include Daytona Beach, Orlando, Jacksonville, Nassau, the Bahamas, and Savannah. 
WSB News Time, 7.05. It's 5 after 7 o'clock, and an annual rite of passage in America and New Jersey may have to be moved this weekend. New Jersey has declared a state of emergency. Schools are closed there today, and all 51 contestants in the Miss America pageant may have to be evacuated. They can stay at my house. Kirk Mellish, ladies and gentlemen, uh, extending the warm hand of, uh, of sincere participation here. Uh, that's been happening a lot in Metro Atlanta. It you know, sure has. Opening yeah. doors, churches opening their doors, taking folks in who are all stuck on the road, not knowing where to stay. Really been something. And Kirk has volunteered to put up 51 of the most beautiful women in the world. As Kirk joins us live from the Weather Center this morning, how's the weather shaping up? The weather looks beautiful for today, Scott. A little on the breezy side again, but clear sky. A high of 86, low tonight, 54 in the outer counties and 60 in town. Tomorrow, clear and mild, a high of 81. Saturday, sunny and pleasant, a high of 78 and a low of 55. Recapping the forecast for today, a 9 on the Mellish meter and a high of 86. Right now, 65 here at Atlanta's official weather station with Atlanta's most accurate and dependable forecast. I'm WSB meteorologist Kirk Mellish. And WSB Sky Copter Sky Plane Traffic for Joseph. A bank. Here's Chris Monroe. It has been tough trying to get in from Snellville this morning in the westbound lanes of Highway 78. We had a report of some trouble earlier around Killian Hill Road, and it's been as far back as uh, the area of uh, right around Hewitt Road this morning on 78. More delays on the Snow Mountain Freeway inbound trying to get through Mountain Industrial Boulevard and the Hugh Howell area. Take you up to Gwinnett County now, live in the traffic center. It's Mark Arab. Yeah, red alert now sounding, Chris, for Gwinnett County. An overturned vehicle accident, 85 southbound at Highway 317, at least two left lanes are blocked. Once you get past that, you're still going to be slowed down toward Jimmy Carter, Chris. All right, that could cause a major delay. As you know, we'll be on the way to check that uh, out of the Swanee area. Northbound on the connector, that's where we're at, and it's not that bad. You're crowding up around University Avenue with spots up toward Peachtree Pine Street, but only about 11, 12 minutes to make it from Lakewood up to the Brookwood Interchange. 24-hour traffic updates every six minutes. News Talk 750 WSB. I'm John Lewis in Gwinnett County. If the DNR has their way, you won't have to get your car inspected every other year. You have to do it every year. I'll tell you all about it coming up. Plus, a tragedy in Texas. Coming up, a gunman opens fire at a Baptist church service for teenagers, killing eight.